Hi, so um, today uh, we stayed in Nazareth for the first half of the day. We went to the Basilica in Nazareth, which is beautiful. Um, I found it quite hard because there's a huge number of, of images of Mary basically, um, which you'd expect in Nazareth, <laughs> um, um, but it's it's very, very Catholic. Um, and then just behind that we went to um, the Church of Joseph uh, and it was all dedicated to Joseph. So it was nice to be sort of reminded of that story and where Jesus was growing up. Um, but it was, it was not my normal worship style, I think that's <laughs> the fair way of saying it. Um, and then we went to um, the Greek Orthodox Church which is just so colourful and bright with images of loads of Bible stories everywhere and um, candles. Um, so I lit a candle for Queen's because um, Helen Stanton had asked me to. Um, and I lit one for you as well, Helen, in um, the um, sepulchre, the Holy Sepulchre. So um, I've done that, yeah. <laughs> um, and I liked, it was, it was lovely in there actually. It was a really worshipful sort of place. And um, it was nice seeing you know, some of the Orthodox priests also being there and, and using the space as I would my normal Methodist church. Um, so that was really special. And then <coughs> we went from there and had um, some lunch and then we went up onto the hill where the um, Transfiguration took place um, and that was beautiful. It is massive, it's really high up so it must have been a, a huge trek for them to get up there. It's really steep. Um, so we went up in minibuses, obviously Jesus would not have had many minibuses. Um, and it was really funny because we, we thought about what happened in the, you know, in the Bible story and how Peter really wanted to build these structures to honour Elijah, Moses and Jesus. And now they, there's a huge church um, that I think they said was built in the 1960s with a, um, a, a main chapel that, that celebrates Jesus and then a side chapel for Elijah and a side chapel for, for Moses. And it's on land where the Crusaders I think had built. Um, chapels and, and structures um, so we thought about the fact that actually Peter had the last laugh in a way because what he said he wanted to do has happened um, it was beautiful you could see all across Israel um, and on one of the uh, on either side of the church there's some platforms and on one side was a, a Pentecostal group I think from Nigeria and they were praying out loud and praying for the kingdom to come praying for unity praying for peace and um, so a couple of us went and joined them um, and they, they were praying in a very African style where everyone, you know, somebody starts everyone off and, and then everybody prays out loud together and, and walks around and um, so then they asked us to pray so I got to go and, and pray with them and it was lovely to meet another sort of pilgrim group and, and to, to pray um, for, for peace and for unity and, and for all of those things so that was, that was really special and it was, it was great being up there um, and again and seeing the views that Jesus would have seen and, and knowing what he was doing um, so that was really lovely and then we came back, um, we've just got back into Jerusalem and had a meal at our guest house. Um, so that's where we are now. I'll put some pictures up. See you soon.